what's up people welcome back for those of you returning if you this is your first time here appreciate you visiting uh, today's been kind of an unusual day it's been you know all raining all day or at least most of the morning well that means a couple things first of all it means that the garden's going to be wet also means that i'm not going to be able to get out much in the garden if it well i'll go take a look at it later but Ultimately, what it means is, you know, I don't want to waste a day, so I'm going to work here in the food forest, uh, in the Mississippi food forest. We're going to see about planting, or at least getting it ready to plant. We're going to focus on, I think, the uh, pawpaw tree today. I'll go ahead and show you the pawpaw tree we got. It's looking pretty good considering it's just sitting out here in the container. Google said you can plant pawpaw trees as close as five feet together. Well, I have no doubt it's probably at least that close or closer in nature a lot of the times, but it's something else recommended eight to 10 feet. Well, that's a good question. So somewhere between five feet and 10 feet. I think what we're gonna do is put it about eight. If you look at this section of dirt that I just pulled out, you can see where the top inch really looks pretty good, pretty dark, rich. You know, it's kind of dark there for a little bit further, but look as it goes further down, it's red. That's when we're getting in that compacted soil. Well, if you want to give these trees a, a fighting chance, you got to break that up a little bit add some stuff in there. Now, I'm not saying fertilize. You don't need to fertilize for at least three months. They get way it'll give those roots some reason to go out there and do some searching for some nutrition, for some water. You want them to get established. Anyhow, once you start getting some establishment in your roots, then you can do a little bit of fertilizing. I'd try to make most of it around, around the outside. Make it to where the roots can reach it, but they want more. Anyhow. I'm back to back to shoveling. I don't know if you can tell it. Let me get down here a little closer. But uh, you see them little indentions on the hole on the side. Whenever I plant a tree, I try to make sure that I, I scarify. I don't even know if that's a word. But that's the word I'm going to use because it seems to describe most apropos the way. Um, digging planting those little indentions over here that you see on the side i'm trying to make sure this isn't a perfectly round hole typically when you shove a shovel in the ground it leaves a smooth edge well to me that kind of reminds me of how it looks in one of these containers and containers have a tendency to have root bound roots if you leave them too long I want these roots to be able to expand. I want them to know that they're not hitting something that uh, that ain't going to give. Now, it may take them a little force, but that way they know which way to go. Maybe I'm giving them too much credit. Regardless, I want to give them the best chance I can for them to go through and grow and thrive. I want some fruit out of these bad boys. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some of the peat moss. We're going to add some of the ash and some of that water. And mix it with this native soil. By the way, I should also mention that charcoal could also be considered biochar. After all, it's been sitting in this ash, which is full of nutrients. Sometimes, sometimes this hoary hoary makes it a little easier to mix up things. I guess it's a hoary hoary. I don't know if that's a brand name or not. But just going to add a little bit of 
ash to it. Got a little bit already. Now we're gonna get that mixed up in there. I am also breaking up the using the garden fork to try and penetrate a little bit deeper so that it can uh, the roots have more area to spread out on perfect I wanted it just a little bit above just a hair above the ground out and when you're doing this you want to kind of press in on the sides try to get it loosened up so that it comes freely comes out freely all right let's see really good we'll tease them out just a little bit let them know they're free and we're gonna pour it in around the hole pour it in the hole Yeah, there's some sections didn't get mixed too well, but there's enough organic material in there to help create a little seams for it. Still, we'll mix it up a little bit while we go. Now I've got this mostly covered as you can see. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pour some water on it. See if we can't get any air pockets to eliminate. I did bring a five gallon bucket and I'm planning on using the whole thing. But right now I'm just trying to make it a little bit, a little bit lighter. So when I do go to pouring the thing out. Tell you what. We should be able to see if there's any low spots. We can kind of tell, see where that water's going down so quick in the middle. I may have to go get another bucket. We'll add some more soil to the middle. Take up where that is kind of. From the way we're looking at it, it slopes from its higher elevation to our right and lower elevation to our left. If we create sort of a semicircle right there, when water comes down, it'll kind of come and, and hang in that area. I'm just trying to make sure that we got a nice little well around this thing. I guess I kind of picked that up from David the Good. You, might, if you watch any of my videos, you can tell I'm a big fan of his. He's a wild man when it comes to gardening. And to be honest with you, he kind of reminds me of my brother. Anyhow, I'm gonna get one more five gallon bucket of water over here, pour it in. Half a bucket of water. Looks good. Time to mulch. Let's go 
gonna have to do for today. Put that around the tree, we're done. I'm sure I've stressed this, but I'll stress it again. Keep the area around the crown of the tree free from anything that might, anything that might put a, uh, a bind on it. Try to get it nice and even spread. I gotta get back to the house so I can get ready for my paying job. Had no idea when I woke up this morning I was going to be planting a pawpaw tree or planting a tree. Anyhow, I just knew I needed to get something done today. This would end up being what it is. We appreciate y'all dropping in. Come back and see us. Y'all have a blessed day.